Hey, Sean here from speedcubeview.com. So I just unboxed these and we have this new puzzle that uh, GE has been advertising. I forgot what they're actually calling it. One thing I have noticed, they've been putting QY on a lot of things. If that'll focus right there. It says QY toys. So I don't know if they're just gonna start going by QY, but they've been talking about this as if it's a whole new type of puzzle. It has the matte finish that we have on the warrior. Okay, so interesting, you move the tips and these centers move. This almost, oh, what is this? I this reminds me of a puzzle. I've never had anything exactly like this, but it, it reminds me, put in the comment section below, there's something where you can move the, the, the tips of like a three by three and it moves pieces of a center like this. Oh man, okay. From what it looks like, how would we solve this? My thinking, it's really nice. It's very, it has a click. I don't know how much of like corner cutting it would have. It definitely flexes a bit, but here's how it's all this. I feel like we need to get these, the center is like the, the basis and we're gonna get the corners lined up with the center. So like right now the corners are all lined up but the center's off. So there could be maybe an L to, so if I just do like a sledgehammer sort of thing. Okay, that moves the center around. So if I just do here, it swaps these ones on the left. So if we can get one of those correct, one of those correct. Anything really? Or is it just swapping two back and forth? Okay. So maybe not. Let's see here. Yellow, blue, red, green. These two swapped and these two swapped. So if I do it again, they're going to swap again. Yep. Okay. So it's swapping those two in the back, the bottom and the, the back ones. So if I need to, I could just do this to swap. I think this should solve the centers. Yeah, okay, so centers are now solved. Um, so how do we do these other ones? It, it might have to be some sort of commutator, but that's gonna mess up the centers maybe again. Interesting. Hmm. I'm sure there's a very simple way to solve this, but the order of what to do first is interesting. So actually maybe, we, maybe lining up these tips is best and then doing edges and then doing center. Um, the problem is you do the centers and these inner edges kind of mess up. Um, so I'd have to mess with it a bit more to figure that out, but I'm going to call this sort of solved. Um, let's do a couple other things. We'll do one big video for this. So I also have this, the puzzle, the sort of number sliding puzzle. I have not had one of these in years and years and years. I had one of these when I was a little kid. Um, okay. So this is heavy. I like this case with it. It's a really nice case actually. Like the, even the hinge is nice. I've got some metal in those hinges. Um, okay, so how do I get out that piece? Will it come out? Okay, they all just came out. Great. Well, let's just put these, well, no, I should put them back in the correct way because there might be, oh, I think if I put it back incorrectly, that would be impossible to solve. Okay, so let's just slide these around. The magnets really help line it up. I have no idea a pattern for solving this though. So my method is going to be putting one in the corner and then going from there. Like putting one then going from two. So I know I'm not timing myself, but here I go. So if I just do this, there we go. One set and now two, hmm. That's not going to work. Oh, that works. Three, four, five. How would I get that one here? Oh, nope. I need to replace. Shoot. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Awesome. I could see myself speed solving that and having fun with that. I have never really thought about speed solving one of these, but that was a lot of fun to speed solve. And if we if there's like a method or a technique, which I'm sure there is, that would be really enjoyable. Okay. So I'm going to put that away. That This might be one of my new favorite things. I didn't think I was going to enjoy that so much. That was great. We have two more things. We have some uh, keychain puzzles, a Pyraminx, and the Ivy Cube. Pyraminx. 
No magnets. Wait. No, I'm not really clicking mechanism. Um, no magnets. No ball bearings. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Here, can I take this off? I'm gonna take this off right now. Take the keychain part off. Okay. So here we go again. Okay. Nope, I need to do that. There we go. Turns not great. Come on. There we go. Okay. What about this one? Ooh, this turns really nice. So keychain goes there. I might actually carry this one around. Um, those are not stickers, those are tiles, so that you don't have to worry about those peeling. But this one is, is one that I actually would carry around. It turns really smooth. It turns like the regular Ivy Cube. It's not like a a weird miniature version of it. It's a miniature version, but it turns nicely. I almost feel like I prefer this over the regular one because of the size, um, the tiles. So let's let's solve this one, and then I think we'll be done with the video. So. See, I need to get see white, blue, there we go. Oh, nope, that's not right. There that is. Oh, I don't remember how to solve this. I'm just doing sledgehammers randomly. Should have looked to see what a sledgehammer actually did when I solved it. Okay, I'm gonna do this corner. Yeah, I'm not doing super well at this. I'm gonna leave it at that. Look at the pattern I made. It was a lovely, lovely little pattern. Okay, so yeah, I'll figure out the name of this. I'll put it in the video. This was a lot of fun. These are all from Chi Yi, so thank you, Chi, for sending these over. Um, I'll have a link in the description where you can get a lot of them. Um, a lot of them are not for sale just yet, at least when I'm recording this, but they'll be available at SpeedCube Shop pretty soon. I know SpeedCube Shop already did a video on all of these as well. Um, so please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future, and as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.